Corruption is not a fun mechanic to deal with. When you first see that purple mist and watch your health and stamina slowly drop, it's very easy to panic. Today I'll be teaching you exactly what corruption is, where it comes from and how to deal with it. This guide is mostly aimed at fairly new players, although if you are a older or returning player you might find some information here useful. So without further ado, let's get started. Corruption is a status effect you'll most often encounter around obelisks or in areas full of valuable treasures, interesting lore and often terribly strong enemies. Even worse, corruption can be inflicted by enemy attacks too, meaning that getting caught in certain enemy packs can stack quite a lot of corruption on you fairly quickly. However, generally speaking, you're most often going to gain corruption from the environment. The best way to tell if you're going to get corrupted from an area is the telltale purple mist, that is a solid indicator to look out for. The most common source of corruption you're likely to see is from obelisks, which can be troublesome considering that, in the late game, you'll be spending a fair bit of time near them, teleporting to them using your map room. Whilst you're under the effect of an actively ticking corruption debuff, you'll get a notification on the debuff bar below your health bar, and you'll also see a very hard to miss purple frame on your screen. Whilst this debuff is active, you'll gain corruption at the rate of 1 point per 5 seconds. Not really too bad if you happen to run past, but if you're there for any extended period of time, things can get troublesome quickly. So you're probably wondering exactly what corruption does. Well, corruption will reduce your health and stamina, slowly replacing the respective red and yellow bars with a new purple bar that will cap your health and stamina regen. This effect continues to grow throughout your exposure to corruption until it maxes out at 50% of your health and stamina pools. Having two of your most important resources cut in half is definitely not good. It can really hamper you if you're a big tanky build, but also if you're playing a sort of roguelike or a glass cannon build, you're in even more danger than you already were, and being sat at half health means you can get killed pretty easily by world or dungeon bosses. Due to your stamina also being reduced, you've got much less leeway on dodge rolls and sprinting, meaning it's much easier to put yourself in a bad position. Corruption is a slow build debuff, but if you don't manage it, it could quite easily lead to an otherwise avoidable death. So when it comes to removing corruption, there are four main ways to do so, though one is much more common to see and arguably much more effective. The first method is by simply visiting an entertainer thrall, either in your own base or in someone else's. Entertainer thralls will dance once you've broken them in, and being near them gives you the losing corruption buff which will slowly remove your corruption. Tier 2 and above entertainers will also give you the entertained buff which will slowly regenerate your health. Dancers are the best low intensity way of clearing your corruption debuff, with tier 3 and tier 4 thralls being the absolute best. Tier 4 named entertainers can be quite hard to get. There are currently about 22 of them in the game, all belonging to different races, and thus they can show up in various different parts of both the Exiled Lands and the Isle of Siptar. However, some of them are quite rare spawns. For example, Lianali, a Cimmerian Tier 4 entertainer, has a spawn chance between 1% and 3% depending on location, whereas other entertainers like Barnes of Azura has a more reasonable but still low chance of 12%. Obviously, having the best is always good, but in all honesty for practical advice on my part, they're nice to have, but it's not really worth hunting these entertainers down, especially if you don't already have one or two entertainers ready at base. There's nothing wrong with settling with a tier 3 entertainer, the difference is honestly marginal and saves maybe a couple of seconds of time at most. Now if you're a fairly new player and you don't have the time or the resources to break a high level entertainer, simply head over to the west side of the map to the city of Sepameru and find Conan in the tavern. Inside the tavern you'll find three entertainers who will remove your corruption and regen your health for free. Sephimeru is quite an important location so you'll be heading there at some point anyway, so having this resource here for free is quite nice. Now obviously you can't really bring an entertainer thrall with you wherever you go, so there are some portable solutions for dealing with corruption. The first is by drinking a cleansing brew, a beverage that can be crafted as a stove as long as you have Specialist Cooking 3 unlocked from reading a book found in the Mounds of the Dead. The drink requires one yellow lotus blossom and one herbal tea, 
which the herbal tea requires one purified water, one aloe leaves, and five plant fiber. This method will reduce your corruption by 5% of your maximum HP before corruption. So, for example, if you have 700 health and you drink one, it will remove 35 points of corruption, effective to about 7 seconds of standing next to an obelisk. It's not great at cleaning a lot of corruption, but for dealing with slow incremental buildup, it's not bad. Another more powerful but somewhat harder to attain option is eating the heart of a hero. These are acquired by killing mini bosses in the unnamed city and will wipe all of your corruption. It's quite a powerful consumable, though the downside of having to farm it by fighting mini bosses can be a detriment depending on where you are in the game. Seeing as the mini bosses can also drop legendary weapon and armor repair kits, you will probably end up farming them at some point anyway. The other downside is that the heart of the hero can be sacrificed at Hanuman's Grotto to receive either Hanuman's Gift, a potion that gives random status effects, or the Boon of the Silverback, a gorilla pest that some players may want to attain beforehand. Fortunately, the chance to get the pet is fairly reasonable at 20%, so if you already have it or if you don't want it, you can chow down on that heart to remove all of your corruption. The final way to clear corruption is by wearing Champion's Leggings, a piece of legendary armour that can be crafted after attaining the feat by interacting with a tablet in a hallway near the Arena Champion boss in the Warmaker's Sanctuary dungeon. Warmaker's Sanctuary is probably one of the hardest dungeons in the game, and crafting the leggings requires armour scraps which drop from two very hard bosses within the dungeon. Stat-wise, the entire champion set is pretty decent, it's a heavy armour recolour of the Silent Legion set, with 40 heat and cold resist, plus 3 grit and plus 2 strength, and some other pieces have additional passive benefits. The champion's leggings will remove one point of corruption every 30 seconds, so unless you already wear these leggings or your build is designed around this set, I wouldn't really recommend it just due to its incredibly slow corruption clear. If you want my personal opinion, just stick to Entertainer Thralls for the most part. Having a Heart of the Hero or a Cleansing Brew in your inventory isn't a bad idea if you know you're probably going to get a decent bit of corruption, it can be helpful in a pinch, but most of the time an Entertainer back home will do just fine. Finding the mouse in the wild can be a bit of a pain, especially tier 3 entertainers, as it's basically just luck based if one will spawn, but getting one is invaluable. If you want my personal advice, place an entertainer either in your chest room or in a kind of common area in your base and you'll be free from corruption in no time. I choose the chest room because, well think about it, you spend a lot of time in there, if you're coming back from farming resources or from a dungeon, you're going to be putting all those resources away in their respective chests, so while you're doing that, your entertainer thrall is in the corner dancing away and your corruption will be gone. Corruption can be a crippling debuff that can turn what should be an easy dungeon run into a nightmare of death and despair. There are multiple ways to deal with the buildup of corruption, both on the go and back at home. Plan your dungeon runs ahead of time. If you know you're likely to pick up a decent bit of corruption, then take a Heart of the Hero or a Cleansing Brew with you. Generally speaking though, a good Entertainer Thrall in your base will provide all the corruption cleaning services you could ever need, and you'll never have to worry about the Purple Mist again. If you enjoy my content, all the links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Host Havoc affiliate page, NordVPN discount, and NordPass discount are available in the description below. However, of course, you can simply just leave a like, a comment, or subscribe. Any of those are very greatly appreciated. Patrons get a bunch of nice benefits, including sneak peeks of videos, your name in every video, custom-made wallpapers in 1080p and 4K resolutions, full-size build blueprints, Discord roles, and more. On that note, a massive thanks to our patrons Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Ivy, Torn, CoffeeMan04, Alfric, and Eagle Rose. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.